Hello everyone, this is Jen with Jen's Den Art. I am the owner and creator of a fun monthly painting membership that I would like to invite you all to become a part of. So I am going to sit around for just a minute and let my friends come on, say hello. So we can, um, I'm gonna find me on my Facebook page, see if we are live while you are all jumping on. Yes, I am there. Hello, Miss Pat. I'm gonna wait around for just a few minutes and let people come on so I can see. Um, not, a, not a few minutes, just a few seconds. So, <laughs> so I hope you are all doing well today. I see a bunch of you coming on now, so I'm super excited. And what I am going to do, let me see if I have my little, my little holder. I don't have it for my phone. Um, what I'm going to do today is for old members and new members. So I can show you uh, what you get when, um, what you get access to when you become a member of Jen's Den Art Tribe. Okay, I've had a couple of questions over the past couple of days, and today is, oh, by the way, make sure y'all can hear me okay. <laughs> I always forget, to, can you hear me? Am, am I sounding okay? Can you hear me and see me? Let's get that straight first. How are y'all all doing? Hello, hi, Terry. Hi, Michael. Hi, Marilyn. Hello, Catherine and Shay. I can hear and see. Thank you, Shay. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Cynthia. Thank you, thank you. All right. So, um, what I wanted to say, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to show you when you join Jensen Art Tribe. I am, we, we paint together weekly in a live Facebook um, live broadcast, and we actually paint together in two sessions. I'm going to talk more about that as well. Um, but the first thing I want to do is I want to show you what you sign into when you become Jensen Art Tribe member and what you get access to. So um, I'm going to take you behind the screens as if I were a customer. And I am going to share my screen and just if I can figure out how to do this and not like make it all crazy. Let's see. I need y'all to tell me if I am actually, if y'all can see my screen. I'm going to wait around just a minute. Let me know if you can see my screen. Hello, Sherry from Kentucky. Good to see you here today. So let me know if you can see my screen. I think you can, if I'm not mistaken. So this, my friends, is what we call, good, Michael, thank you. Good, Cynthia. Thank you so much. This is what we call Jen's Den Art Tribe Online Classroom. You will see that written right here. When you sign in, you will see this first, and it will actually be addressed to you. Okay, so you see mine is, hey, Ginger, welcome to Jen's Den Online Classroom. And this page right here, y'all, it's just one page that you just scroll through and you have access to everything. It's kind of like an umbrella of um, any questions you have, anything that you need to do in Jensen or Tribe, this is where you would come. There are some links that take you out of this page, and I'm going to show you those things. The first thing you see right here is a welcome series. This is just, you know, I'm, I'm just introducing myself, introducing my husband, um, getting you into the Facebook group going through your profile, how to get your profile set up. Um, and then it scrolls through a couple of, of more things here and it walks you through what this page is all about. Okay, so there's a video, there's like a, a couple minute video for each part of the online classroom. Okay, and then that's it. So that's what you'll see at first. Then if you scroll further, this is where the fun starts happening. You have a link. This is where it says quick links. You have a link to my website. 
you have a link to the community. The community is a private Facebook group, and we're going to talk more about that as well. So this link right here, if you click on it, it takes you straight to the private Facebook group where you have access to the live videos and the community and all of the other people that are involved in the tribe. The next thing is a calendar. If you click on the calendar, it takes you to your Google calendar and it shows you our schedule for the month. It'll show you our schedule for every month. And then the last thing is contact us. If you have any questions, you would hit that contact us and then you fill out your name, your email, and then um, that email will be sent to the help team and they will get back to you within the day. Okay. The next thing you have is what I actually have created for you is a 10 hour course on acrylic painting. And if you click in that, this is a complete course by itself on painting styles, on paint brushes, on paint care, on um, types of different paints that you could use using a palette knife. It goes on and on different types of mediums, how to use the color wheel, how to create a color wheel. Um, and then there's some practice paintings in here. This is 10 hours worth of information. For a beginner, this Acrylic 101 course is the bomb, okay? It will take you through everything you need before you get started, all right? So I'm going to go back to the den, all right, so we're back to the main page, Jen's Den Online Classroom. And then the next thing you see is I have a little link here for the most recent tutorials and customer favorites. So if you click on the most recent tutorials, you will see the things that we've been working on recently. All right, and I need to update this now. So we have our August paintings, our July paintings that we did in the TROB, our June paintings. So I usually keep three months worth in this most recent tab. All right. And then I have, these are the, the two main areas that you would probably use the most. They are painting tutorials by level and then also painting tutorials by theme. So I have um, organized my painting tutorials into three different levels. And when you go through the onboarding, you will learn what all of these levels are all about. Um, level one is basically, I'll just bring you in there to let you see. It is all of the tutorials that we have. And by the way, we have over 200 now. It is all of the tutorials that are the simpler ones. They are the ones for the beginners that just want to take baby steps and they want to try their hand at some of my tutorials. So I call these level one because the techniques involved in order to create these paintings are very minimal techniques, okay? And the surfaces that they're painted on are um, smaller surfaces where they won't take you that long to um, create them. The level two paintings are considered level two, and this is probably where most of my painting tutorials are located. The level two paintings, and here you go, these are all, all painting tutorials that have already been done since February 2020. I have been creating painting tutorials, and they are all in here for you to have instant access to. So let's say you decide you want to paint the scarecrow. Everybody loves the scarecrow. So you would click on the scarecrow and then you would see right here, there is four parts to the scarecrow and you would click on the video and I'm just going to start playing it so you can see. You would click on the video and as you go through the video, you will see different things things that will come up on your screen. One of them at the top right here is, you see this up here? It's transcript. If you hit the transcript, it actually takes you through all of, let me stop this so you don't hear me. It takes you through all of, it's basically transcripted 
my entire live into words. So you can read through this. And if there's something you're looking for, let's say you're looking for um, uh, pumpkin. I don't know. Probably shouldn't write that in there, but we're going to try it. Anywhere in the video that I talk about a pumpkin, it's going to come up on the side here and it's going to show you that's where we're using and we're talking about the pumpkin and it'll give you the time frame and then you can click on that time frame and it'll take you to that part where I am actually talking about and working on the pumpkin. So the transcript is amazing to give you access to um, information so you don't have to watch the whole video. You can actually search and that's why this program that I'm using is called Searchy because of that. So it's an awesome, awesome program. You can also see right here that you have attachments. You have a, a photo of the painting. You have templates and you have supply list and all of that good stuff all within the video area, all, all within the playlist. So if you click back out, you will go back to the entire library of paintings. And remember, we were in level two. And I want to make sure you understand each one of my paintings is leveled in one of these levels here. Every single one of them has been identified as a level. So you're going to find a painting tutorial in either level one level two or level three. And let me show you just a sneak peek into level three. And here, these paintings here are paintings that, oh, I need to fix this. I see I have a little glitch. These paintings here are mostly animals. I don't know if you noticed that because animals are a little more difficult to paint than, um, than other things that we paint. So you will see that these paintings are going to take you a little bit longer, longer to complete, and they're going to um, require a little bit more of your time also. So you will see this video right here, which is a very, very popular video. You will see this one is my painting time is two hours and 23 minutes. So you can stop and start. And not only that, if you start the video and you, let's say we go about this far, okay? And we stop the video. All right, we stop the video and we get out. Let's say we get out of the whole video and we're like, okay, well, I want to go back and finish that Highland Cow. So let me go back to my Highland Cow where I was. And I want you to notice this. It saved my spot where I was. And it takes me back to exactly where I stopped on my video. So that is super, super cool as well. These are some really advanced um, features in this video system that really allows you to get the most out of your video experience. So I hope that you um, understand all of the things that I'm telling you. I don't see any questions so far. If I'm missing any, let me know, but I don't see any. Um, let's keep on going. And I'm going to show you a little bit more. So that's, that's our levels, okay? That is all of our levels. Even if you think you're just a level one painter, you can still try the level threes. You're not blocked out of any information. Everything is free reign to you. Just like a net, I call it, it's a Netflix of painting. Just like Netflix. When you go to Netflix, you can choose whether you want to watch comedy or horror or drama. Well, this is the same thing, okay? Um, you can choose on Netflix whether you want to watch um, rated R or, you know, a level um, under like child uh, movies. Well, this is the same exact thing, except it's painting tutorials. So I have three different levels. So you can go into any one of the levels. And I also have it broken up into themes. 
So every single one of my painting tutorials is in these three levels somewhere. Also, every single one of my painting tutorials is in a theme somewhere, like still life. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory what still life is. Those are the types of paintings that are just pictures of something that is standing there. Like, um, I mean, you can just see what it is. Your pottery, your pots, a bird nest. Um, the Easter cross, the Christmas ornament, the stained glass window, all of those are still life, okay? The gardening tools, that's a very popular one right there too. So you have all of these videos that are in here. Now, they are, um, they are organized in two different categories. You can either find all of the videos in a level or you can find all of the videos somewhere in a theme, okay? It's either going to be in a landscape or a still life or a floral or birds or animals. So you can search for it in all of those 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different ways you can search for them. Not only that, there's a search bar at the top. And so if you're looking for something, you can come up here and you can search for it and it'll take you right to it. Okay, here's some bonus tutorials that we have down here. These are woodworking tutorials. How to make your own palette board. How to make your own frames for your canvases, which we do a lot. My husband does all of this for me. And so we actually made videos of these to help you learn how to do that. Um, new Technique Wednesdays. These are new techniques that are um, videos that I've done to the public. And it's all, I'm still, this is a work in progress. Okay. So I'm still working on um, putting all of these videos in here. But these are all of the videos that we've done in the New Technique. And then this is a work in progress as well, because this is a new website for me. Um, the pop-up paint parties, all of the previous pop-up paint parties are going to go in here. And then we have some additional bonus videos on how do you create a series of paintings? How do you use a palette knife? Um, how do you deal with blending? How to use Canva to make your... Um, your designs, and it just goes on and on. We talk about one point perspective, how to clean your paint brushes, all kind of good stuff. So y'all, it's just a plethora of information for you to have access to. And um, that's only the online classroom part. We also have a Facebook group. And in the Facebook group, which is probably the best part, you have access to our community. In our community, that is where I go live every week. That is where I go live every week on Monday nights, which by the way, tonight at seven o'clock, we're starting on a cornucopia. I'm excited about that. And Tuesday at noon, every Monday night and Tuesday, I go live and I start the process of a new painting. Most of the time, it's a two-session painting. That's why I go live twice. Because my paintings, um, I like to explain explicit information, step-by-step -step information from the beginning all the way to the end. So my painting tutorials, my videos are um, anywhere from two hours to three hours usually. So that's why I go live twice because um, I break it up so that we spend like about an hour for one day. I give you time to catch up and watch the video. And then we come back live the second day and we teach and we do more on the painting after we've let it dry some and we've thought about what we wanted to do and we talk about it. So I give you two sessions to be able to complete your paintings. And all of that happens initially in the private Facebook group. That's where the lives are going to be um, broadcast. Then after the lives are broadcasted, you get an email 
to the links for the lives. Okay. You get an email with the templates and you get an email. If you miss the, the lives, you'll get an email with the link. And then they are kept in the Facebook group, but then they're also brought to the online classroom and put alongside with all of the other video tutorials. They, they get labeled as a level one, two, or three, and then they get labeled in their specific theme. And then, so you not only have access to those videos in the Facebook group where the community is, but you also have access in a more organized format in the online classroom for you to be able to watch the tutorials. So you have a choice of where you want to watch the tutorials. The Facebook group is where the community is. Unfortunately, at this time, there is no community component in the online classroom, but it is coming down the pipe as this new um, platform gets developed. So I'm waiting for that. That's going to be so much fun as well. So we have our Facebook group where you can post pictures of your paintings. You can ask for prayers. You can get to know each other. You can vote for the paintings that we're going to be painting for the next month. We do all of that kind of stuff in there. We have challenges. We have tribe member of the months. We have we have so much, so much stuff that we do. Um, uh, just a little bit about myself. I was a professional high school math teacher for 25 years before, in, a, in a public school in um, Louisiana before I retired and I started this online painting membership. Um, I do not have a degree in art, but I do have a degree in education and I also have a master's degree in educational technology. So um, a lot of those things that I have been doing over the last 30 years have really helped me be able to create this, um, this adventure and this journey for all of y'all. Um, and my team and I are really excited. If you are interested in joining, we would love to have you join. Um, and I am going to read projects. I like the way you have projects organized. Thank you, um, Judy. Mine won't open the Christmas section. That's probably because I'm still working on it. <laughs> but I promise you, the um, the tutorials are there somewhere. I'm actually going to go in there today and look at it and see what you're talking about so I could fix it for you. Um, hi, Jen. I want to join, but I cannot join till Friday. It says you're closing door. Wendy, can you um, email ginger at jensdenart.com and we can talk about that? And um, we can come up with a plan for you. Um, ginger at jensdenart.com. If you can remember that. <laughs> you do a live painting. Do you say what level you will be doing at that time? You know, Deb, I don't. But that is a great idea. That's a great idea for me to do that. Um, normally, I don't know until I'm starting the painting. Sometimes we paint from scratch together. Like, I've never painted it before. And I'm going to paint it with y'all and we're gonna we're gonna discover it together. And um, we even we draw it out. I provide templates for everything. Everything is provided a template. If it is a painting that I already know in advance that I am painting with y'all, sometimes we just go. We just start from scratch. We're like, okay, like tonight we want to do a cornucopia. Okay, I am a little. Um, I'm a little backed up on knowing exactly what my cornucopia is going to look like. I haven't decided that yet. So part of the live will probably be me sketching out a cornucopia for us to make a decision on what we want the painting to look like. So we really go through a lot of thought process. I'm really, really good at, um, and I think that comes with the education behind, behind my, my background, um, I'm really good at sharing my thought process with you verbally. So um, so it gives you a lot of ideas of what to think about when I'm doing certain things. So that's always something that that helps a lot. Um, so, yeah, that is what is going on. I see we have any questions about anything. Elizabeth says, 
recommend you join the tribe. You will not regret it. We have learned so much. And, and at the end of the lives, we also have a prayer request time where we pray for one another. That is part of the tribe, but it is you don't have to be a Christian to be part of the tribe, but it is a part of the tribe where at the end of the live, we do take a moment, we share scripture, and we do take prayer requests for people who are um, needing prayers, which we all need prayers, right? We're always, you know, that that's just a part of our life. If you are a Christian, you know that praying is a big part of everyone's life. Um, so we do do that. And, um, and yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Do y'all have any questions? So if you look in the, um, in the comments, I'm going to show you also one other thing really quick. This is the calendar. This is a sample calendar where, um, this is basically what we do in, in the tribe. You see every, Every um, Monday and Tuesday, we go live, and that's basically where we spend the majority of our time in communication with each other. On Wednesdays, I usually do, this is not a part of the tribe, it's just to the public, it's free. I usually do what's called a new technique Wednesday on Wednesdays. And then the rest of the week, I give you time to work on your paintings, to work on any paintings that you want, and then we are very active in the Facebook group. Um, communicating with the with the community and working on our paintings and seeing how everybody's coming along. So um, so that's kind of our schedule. You are never considered behind because, like I said, it's a Netflix. Okay, it's like a Netflix. I probably shouldn't be using the word Netflix because they're probably gonna kick me off of Facebook or something. But you just you play and you paint the ones you want to paint and you don't paint the ones you don't want to paint, you know? So um, it's just totally, totally up to you. So I hope this helps um, make your decision on whether or not you would like to join. And um, absolutely. And, and Deb, you can cancel anytime. You can cancel anytime with no questions asked. I will not give you any and, and you get to cancel yourself. You don't have to email me. There is a cancel button on your profile where you can just hit that cancel button. And I'm not going to ask you any questions. And I'm not going to try to convince you to do otherwise. So um, so take the leap and try it. Um, I have been in groups before where you have to have, you, you have to contact them to cancel. And it, it has actually made me not join certain subscriptions because I don't, it's just not me. I'm not that kind of person. I want to have complete control over my account and what money comes out of my account. So that cancel button is at your access, not mine. I mean, I could cancel for you, but why not just give it to you to do? You know what I'm saying? So anyway. So, all right, guys, I am actually going to come on live again in just a little bit. And I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. We started the week painting what I'm calling a fall inspiration. Okay. And this was my first painting. We did kind of like a watercolor painting. Um, this was my second painting. This was on a canvas. My bird looks not quite as good, but he's okay. All right. This was on a canvas and this was more of an acrylic painting. And by the way, this is all acrylics. I don't use anything but acrylics. So you don't have to go buy watercolors. You don't have to go buy oils. You don't have to go buy glass and resin. You don't have to go buy any other stuff but acrylic paints and paintbrushes and have water and a rag. That's it. And then whatever you want to paint on. So this was done with acrylics in a watercolor consistency. This was done with acrylics in a regular acrylic consistency. Excuse me. This was done last night with a palette knife and our acrylics. Y'all see how cool? So we've been using the same, the same inspirational painting in different ways. And we've been painting these. These are all free to you guys on my Facebook page. 
um, up until we are done over the next week, they're going to be taken down and they're going to be put in the tribe library. And so tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to use some of these inspirations and we're going to paint on something else. OK, we're not just going to paint on big canvases, which you can see in the back. Sometimes we go like really big. We paint on 18 by 24s, but sometimes we go really small and we paint on on little you know, little pieces. Um, I call them shelf sitters. I don't have any around here. My little five by five wooden shelf sitters that you can use. Um, you can use them in your, um, if you do like the three tier paintings or something, um, you can use those for that. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I am going to take these different paintings that I have and we are going to design something together on this tag and then also on a shelf sitter. And we're going to design something that still has the inspiration of this fall scenery. But we're going to um, we're going to improvise and we're going to make it we're going to just tweak it a little bit. So. Um, so, yeah, that's just some other things that we also do. So that'll be totally fun, guys. Um, Another plus is your man. He's a cool guy. Oh, Deb, you're so cool. Isn't he, isn't he cool? He, um, he, Michael is his name and he is a, um, retired army veteran. Um, he has PTSD and he, when he retired from the army, he went back to, um, he went back to school to get his degree in counseling in mental health counseling. And then after 22 years of um, going overseas and fighting in the wars, he um, he needed to he needed to do that for him. He needed to um, to help himself. And that was one of the ways to help himself was to actually go to school in mental health counseling. And he started helping other veterans with PTSD. He spent 10 years doing that at VA hospitals. And he just recently walked away from that job to help me. However, um, he has a calling to help people, and he has been talking a little bit about going back to help veterans. So we'll see. We'll see where that leads him. Um, so, yeah, thank you for saying that. And he's also a God-fearing man, um, and, and he has really helped me become a better person in my life as well. So, yeah, we really do. We do owe, owe a lot to Michael. He is the talker. He is the uh, the cheerleader and I am I'm the math minded person. He is he's out there. He's the English person and he likes to talk and encourage. And, do, and I am the OK, step one, you have to do this. Step two, you have to do this. Step three, you have to do this. And then, yay, we got it all done. So we really complement each other in what we do. And um, and it works. It works really well. So I want to I want to um, I want to thank you for saying that. Because I did want to mention him in here, too. So, yeah. All right. All right, guys. So I will um, I will sign off for now. And later on today, it's 1 o'clock right now, two, three, probably about 5 this afternoon, because I have some other things to do in just a minute. Probably about 5 this afternoon, I will send you um, a text message. Look for another live. I'm going to be painting again on some little pieces with all of you. And, um, and we're also going to be live in the tribe at seven, starting on our cornucopia. So we'll see you all soon. Thanks for being here. Bye.